Today's booster is flying for its 14th time, having previously supported the GPS-3 Space Vehicle 3 mission, Turksat 5A, Transporter 2, and 10 Starlink missions. And lift off of Falcon 9. Go Falcon, go Intelsat Galaxy 33 and 34. Falcon 9, we're pitching down range. shots from the ground you can see as the uh, atmosphere is getting less dense the plume expanding behind the rocket we go stage separation confirmed and back ignition there we go those three events back to back so with that, the first stage will start making its way back to planet Earth for recovery. Our second stage has a pretty long burn to go. Next major milestone here will be coming up at about T plus three and a half minutes. That'll be fairing deployment. Now both of these fairings, oh, that's a great shot. You can see the first stage, I believe on the right and the second stage on the left. Those periodic uh, bursts you're seeing there from the first stage attitude control system helping reorient it, get the heat shields down. Let's see if we'll also get to see fairings. Yep, Fairing you can see them. Confirmed. Left hand side of your screen, those two white blobs coming off of uh, the second stage are fairings. These fairings have flown five times each. We will be attempting to retrieve them today and use them on a future mission. Nominal We're about T plus four minutes into today's mission. Had a successful liftoff just four minutes ago. We're in the first of two planned Merlin vacuum burns for satellite deployment. Left hand side of your screen is Falcon 9's first stage. We've got a view looking down towards the engines. You can see that the grid fins have deployed in preparation for atmospheric reentry. On the right hand side of your screen, a great shot of the Merlin vacuum engine glowing brightly. Planet Earth in the background and some sunlight behind. The second stage on the right hand side of your screen is carrying the Intelsat. Gets amazing. That's a great view. You can see uh, we just launched at the perfect time here. So we're catching sunlight 
off of the top of the Earth's atmosphere. It's reflecting off of the plume of the rocket. Uh, I love to call this, this the space jellyfish or the space octopus. But at the altitude that the rocket is at, the sun hasn't quite set yet, so we're just seeing the plume of the sunlight reflecting. Fantastic. Now, as I was saying, entry burn coming up for the first stage, left-hand side of your screen. That burn uh, helps slow down the first stage for recovery as we start hitting the thicker parts of the Earth's atmosphere. And during that entry burn, we're decelerating, firing the Merlin engines, but the plume of the rocket is coming back on the vehicle. And so that ends up leaving that nice soot deposit that we see on the surface of Falcon 9s when we get them back on recovery. You're seeing some white gas bursts on the left-hand side of your screen. That's from the attitude control system. We carry nitrogen gas on the first stage. Since you don't have an atmosphere to push off of in space, we have to produce some thrust to reorient the vehicle, and that comes from those nitrogen gas thrusters. Second stage burn continuing to look nominal. Stage one, FTS has saved. Stage one, introvert startup. So again, three Merlin 1D engines igniting here, plume coming back on the vehicle, slowing us down. This burn just about 20 seconds long. Entry burn shut down. And successful shutdown of the entry burn. So with that, the first stage is going to do a little bit of reorienting, make sure its heat shield is pointed down, and as we start getting into the thicker parts of the Earth's atmosphere, those grid fins start to become they much more effective. And the whole reason for doing this is because we want to reuse this booster. Reusability is the key to lowering the cost of spaceflight. That enables us to make more investments in critical scientific research. And as I mentioned earlier, the first stage that's supporting today's mission is making this burn for the 14th time, having done it for GPS-3 Space Vehicle 3, Turksat 5A, Transporter 2, and 10 Starlink missions. Stage 2, terminal guidance. Stage 1, landing way deploy. Stage 1, landing is confirmed. Awesome. Successful landing on our drone ship about six, 600 kilometers off the coast of Florida. You also heard in there the second engine cutoff on our second stage. So just handling them in order here. 146th recovery for an orbital class rocket, including first stage landings for Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy.